I need it. Metro booming want some more. Cause I got a really big team and they need some really big rings. They need some really nice. Y'all, what's up, YouTube? This is Santana 3J, man. I'm back with a new video. So, um, first thing, man, this isn't your average video. I came to do a comparison between the Royal Blue ones that I just got. They just came in the mail right now from Nike and the pair that my dad bought from Shoe Palace. I came to do a review on those two shoes. I, I'm doing this because I was a bit disappointed in the shoe that I got from Nike. The craftsmanship isn't really how I expected it to be. So that's why I came to do a comparison. There's probably one thing that's better about my shoe than the pair my dad got from Shoe Palace. And that first thing is that, as you can see right here, um, right here on the box, I have that verification stamp to show it's authentic. While, it's supposed to be, by the way, it's supposed to be under the, um, the Nike Swish mark. But while on my dad's box, for his that he has right here, he does not have that stamp. They put his in a really weird place. They put his right here i don't know if you can see it but they put his right there inside the box which you're not supposed to put the stamp there then the next thing uh, i was a bit disappointed about was that for the pair that i got from nike they're supposed to send you like a verification authentication thing that is from nike while they didn't really say anything they just say congrats on being the owner of the air jordan 4 retro i didn't even buy a retro 4 i bought the retro one and so I was kind of disappointed in that because if you see right here uh, on the Air Jordan 4 retro, I was the reason I was a bit disappointed is because if I were to trade these shoes at a convention, if I were to sell them or anything, I can't really show or have authentication or proof that I got these from Nike. So that's why I was a bit disappointed in that. But let me get into the shoe now. All right. So right here, the left shoe right here is a size 12 that my dad got from Shoe Palace and the shoe on my right hand is the shoe that my uh, that I got from Nike.com. So the first main difference I noticed is that, as you can see right here on the left shoe, it is tumbled leather on the Nike swoosh mark, which is how the shoe is supposed to be crafted. But right here on my shoe, it is very smooth leather, which I was a bit disappointed about. Another thing that I was disappointed about, the next thing I would say, is that, as you can see, I don't know if you can really tell, but right here, just on this one side of this one shoe, of mine the the swish mark isn't really completely cut well you could see like i don't know if you could see on video you could tell in person though that it's not really completely cut well it's like curved and kind of sharp i don't like it that way while right here it's just the normal the normal one while our my dad's shoe it's just a normal swish mark but on mine it's kind of like pointy which i don't really like but uh just that one side on this side it's a bit better but for that side, that was the main difference, which I was a bit disappointed about. And then on the back, another thing I want to show y'all was that right here, where they like connect the two, where they connect the swoosh marks right here on the back. As you can see right here, it's like a, I know there's a string right there, but um, on my dad's shoe from Shoe Palace, as you can see, it's a straight line right here um, where it's stitched to connect these two parts. And it's not really like going over or anything. It's just perfectly tucked in in this right part. While on the one I got right here, I don't know if you could see real well, but it's completely curved. It curves up right here and it's going over and it's not even really tucked in well to this part, which is something I was pretty disappointed in. But um, other than that, there's really not too many other differences. I know some people are concerned about the laces, which I really could care less about how they come, but this is how mine came. My dad's pair are pretty similar to that too. But I'm just coming here to say, do y'all think that there's an issue with buying these from Nike? I personally, if I were you, if you have the choice to buy a shoe in person or from Nike, buy them in person. I would only buy a shoe if Nike's your only option you have left to get the shoe from. I bought them from two places. I bought two shoes, but I sold my first one. I would honestly rather have kept that one and sold this one just because of craftsmanship. But, um, I mean, this is basically it. Y'all let me know y'all think if it's Nike or if y'all think it's um, just the one pair I got. I was watching a comparison from a person named a Sneaker Life is a YouTuber. And what he was saying was he thinks the reason why these are pretty different is so, some of these are pretty different are because that there were so many made from these. There were so many of these shoes uh, made that Nike had to send them out to multiple factories. And he thinks that Certain factories crafted these shoes differently than others, which is why, for for an example, mine, the stitching 
or not the stitching, but there's really no tumble leather, it's just smooth. While on this one, he has the tumble leather, which is how it's supposed to be. And so that's why I think maybe, um, I believe what he believes, which is why these shoes are different. I don't think it's specifically Nike, but if y'all think it's me ordering from Nike, the reason why this happened, y'all let me know in the comments section, man. But that's basically it. I'm fine with it. I think I'm probably gonna still keep these shoes. I'm, I still think I'm gonna keep my shoe. I don't know about my dad. He's probably gonna keep them still. But um, that's that's basically it, man. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and like and subscribe for more. Uh, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Like if you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think about it in the comments section, what you think. And that's basically it, man. And until then, peace.